It's time for the next stop on our high school football top 10 countdown tour. We're up to team number eight and we'll head back to the Wyoming Valley Conference for this one, highlighting a district champion that came on strong a year ago. Mike Gilbert has that story. Number eight, the Crestwood Comets. Perfect to stand. Let's go. A breakout season for the Crestwood Comets a year ago resulted in a District 2 championship and gives the team a lot of confidence heading into 2021. I think we learned a lot from the last two seasons with our upperclassmen and they showed us really how to be a winning team and really put in the work because the little things are the most important and I think we take it really seriously with that. I watched Ryan Petrosky, great quarterback. He taught me a couple of things but I had to step up when I had to and make plays myself. So going to transfer over to this year. The Comets started off the 2020 season with eight straight wins, including a playoff victory against Dallas. A lot of the younger players, especially those in the trenches, got extended playing time during that run and will be building blocks for the team this year. I think it's a confidence thing. You know, I guess so many young guys got an opportunity to play. It's like, well, we're back. Now, is it going to be the same road? Absolutely not. It's going to be a much harder road. We're not going to sneak up on anyone. But the confidence is there that if, if we do those little things, well, it, it can pay off in the end, and, and we can put ourselves in position for success. So definitely a confidence booster, and hopefully we can carry over as we move forward. It's the leadership and dedication that's been on display this summer that has Coach Arcangeli excited. I'm starting to see leaders really come around. Uh, you know, we, we lost a great group of seniors not coming back, but we, had, we really filled that void with a new group that's doing a great job. So seniors are taking control, they're calling the huddles, uh, they're making sure all guys are gathered in and in the right track. So right now, early on, leadership is really taking over and that's a really good thing to see. I think our run game's really good. I think our defense is looking really good. And I think most importantly, our work ethic. I think that's the best thing about our team. We work really hard. Our work ethic has been really good. We just gotta keep that up. Keep going hard in the weight room, on the field, and we'll be ready, I'm sure. Crestwood lost a few key pieces from last year's team, but they still believe they have enough to make another deep playoff run. If we come in every day, we, and whatever we have on the board, whether it's a speed workout first, a lift first, cleaning things up around the field, those little things translate in important times in the fourth quarter and in the red zone. I think we just need to have self-confidence, keep working, stick to our goals, believe in ourselves, and just play as a whole team, and I think just doing that will be fine. In Mountaintop, Mike Gilbert, 28-22 Eyewitness Sports.